So what is your stake in all this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side. Free and equal. Why not join the Brotherhood, then? My father was an assassin. Quite good at his job, too, as I understand it. But... I hope to have children someday. It's hard to live in two worlds at the same time. So, I chose to live in one. I understand. I still contribute as I can. That's why we're here now. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. Locate the source of his operation, and we can have him arrested. He cannot harm the commander if he is in prison. Do you know where he is? Not exactly, but I have an idea where we can begin the search. There are rumors of bad bills being circulated here. No doubt they come from Thomas. What are you up to? This isn't money. It's colored paper. You've cheated me for the last time. God!
Let's go tell him. I'll warn the others. I've never spotted trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I'm taking care to keep me distant. The plow is pleased to announce the opening. Get down now! Since we strike tonight, be worried about that bit of the guard. What's this? Thomas Hickey? Might be. What's it to you? Huh. Ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him! That's 
My money! Money? That's crazy! Oh, money. Look at all these coins! Hello. That's money! Touch those bills and I'll kill you! Must get over! Be still. You will do no more harm. You are a right fool meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong, boy -o. With him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then... You are both under arrest! Oh, but we were just having a scrap, officer. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a... Quiet! What are the charges? Counterfeiting! I had nothing to do with that. Of course not! Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to... Ah. You. You miss me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Oh, you could ask the crump back to help you with that. Ah, he's quite a knowledgeable fella. Assist me with several technical issues in our set. I'm telling you, he's planning to escape. We should get in on it. Yeah? And what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Sticky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even taught me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. You could ask the crump back to help you with that. Uh, he's quite a knowledgeable fella. I said knock it off! He won't get up. He was running in circles. Where are we going? Stay out of trouble, or you'll wind up in the pit. I'm a pessimist by nature. Have you chance he still owes me the best part of three pounds? I'm not a man to forget what's owed me. I assure you.
Good lie. Be patient. What are you looking at, half breed? You not understand English? That it? Also, our Nasty business, that over by the church. You think the peace. Do I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? These troubled times are no laws. That looks so. He's a muckworm. Ah, me, not that great hell. I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Let me Mason know Weems? Well, Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Does your gut never get tired of all that flat? Really? Let me know if he's willing. I've always room for another pair of strong arms. Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. He's a muckworm. Wouldn't have the nerve for something like this. Won't ever this see him part of a baby. I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools. A lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. And you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? He won't come. His wife's gone in the labor. Last I saw Very well. It's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. it took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> You need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. That looks up. <laughs> He's a muckworm. Wouldn't have yeah, the nerve for something like this. Wouldn't ever see him part with a penny. Uh, no, I've read some of her works. Remarkable indeed. It forces one to think. I think he will join us for the hunting on Saturday. He must finish his business for the maid. Well, so they say, but when I chanced upon the shop myself, there was not left but these cast offs and other third rate leavings. All right, scoundrels, back in your cell! Well, I don't know. I've met quite a few of them out in the bush. So, whatever went wrong with that little Irish muck? I've heard the wedding bells. Well, he won't come. His wife's gone in the labor. Last I saw. The long journey. He is useless. What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Bin? You could ask the crump back to help you with that. Ah, he's quite a knowledgeable fella. Nah, the lad was trying to be creative. They use back home to flavor the malt when this American variety caught fire with too much gumption. Was well obvious. Oh, yes, she. Your key is useless. What do you mean? 
It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the Warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why don't you just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? He might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. <sighs> How do I reach the Warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The Warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. It's a long jump. I think it has to do with the beetle. The little one that eats the wood. Never knew what hit me, but I still got off the back home. He's a killer. Ah, uh, no, thanks. Nah, I think it was the consumption. Uh, I took a heavy toll throughout that yeah, village. But... <laughs> Wretches, you're not but swine suckling at the teats of civilization, thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No, you elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes inside what should be a place of rehabilitation. Need to take care not to raise the alarm. You there! Stop! You come back here! Stop, you! You won't lose us that easily! <laughs> you 
You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. Not who you was expecting, am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free, and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of uh, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Huh. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> All those years ago, the child in the forest was you. I said I would find you. <gasps> and so you have. But not quite as you had expected, am I right? <sighs> you know, all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked. Ah, uh, but what's done is done. <clears throat> <clears throat>
Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham sort of that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving! Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's... Uh, up you go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what it gets you. A pine box. Little else. Brothers. Sisters. Fellow Patriots, several days ago we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly, that even repeating it now disturbs my being. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. Indeed, what darkness or madness moved him, none can say, and he himself offers no defense shows no remorse and though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows he maintains a deadly silence if the man will not explain himself if he will not confess and atone what other option do we have but this he sought to send us into the arms of the enemy and thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world May God have mercy on your soul. Need to stop, Hickey. Go! at least live to see another day. <sighs> Shame. I want answers. Why did Johnson try and buy my people's land? Why was Pitcairn targeting Adams and Hancock? What purpose would Washington's murder have served? Why does your... How should I know? The Templars, Lee, the big man, Haytham, they has the money, they has the power. That's the reason I threw him with them. That's the only reason. Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future, too. I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles. They can make their plans and spring their traps. Don't bother me none. They paid me, so I said yes. Didn't bother to ask who 
or how or why. I didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable. What else is there? I'm not some blind fool who give up all I've got on principle. What is principle anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek. Had it even. You. Your hands will always be empty. I said, lower your goddamn gun! This man's a hero! Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop. He wanted to kill the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. Hm. You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there.
Connor. Connor. Any last words? Wait. A poor choice. <coughs> Come to check up on Church? Make sure he's stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. <sighs> Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. And what do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. There were rations inside the crates. Medical supplies and clothing as well. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Just my luck. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. not wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a camp just north of here. It's where we normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's men. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? Never you mind. Just do as I ask. Pattern in those crates. We'll get extra for that. My church be pleased and we'll be rich. <laughs> I almost feel bad for the Yanks shivering and starving out there. It's a hard way to go. All they need to do is raise the right flag. They should have done that a long time ago. All these fights serves no purpose. The crowd's sure to win in the end. Waste all those lives chasing the film up.
wants us to try something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Forge. That's right. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as Church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? <laughs> of course not. Hiding in New York the last I heard. Trying to keep a low profile. Oh, on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all. All right, I'm in. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Ah, uh, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are ya? Not yet. Meet me in New York. What? You mean to just leave? Now? If you can't handle a couple of mercenaries, then we've really no business working together. Unbelievable. Travis get off to. Heard his son got sickness. Arnold sent him home.
What in God's name are you doing? That man was a British spy. He intended to kill you, Major Arnold. What? General Washington learned of the plot and sent me to foil it. Indeed. We need all the support we can muster. Some of my men are leaving on a munitions delivery to a nearby camp, and I need you to escort them. Find John Anderson upon your arrival. He'll have further instructions. Questions? No. Good. Major General Arnold sent me to assist you. Yeah? All right, he's the boss. Thank goodness you're here. Doubt we could get all these crates down to the camp without you. You do not agree with this? You haven't a laugh. We're meant to garrison West Point, and by extension, hold the Hudson. It's vital, no arguing that. So why is it we're shipping out half our powder and shot? Why not bring up your concern with Major General Arnold? I have. He threatened to have me court-martialed for insubordination and treason, if you can believe that. So I follow orders, no matter how absurd. Not me, friend. I'm not the real traitor. I could tell you who it is if you let me go. Listen, listen. Just turn your back for five seconds and you'll never see me again. I don't want anything to do with this place. Listen, mate. I know you're just following orders, but things aren't what they seem around here. I'm telling you. Is it money you want? Because I got money. How much to set me free? Be quiet. Put that away, lest you want trouble. 
All right, all right, listen. I can fix this. Just give me a chance and I'll prove to you I'm a real patriot. I want this country as much as the next man. Just let me show you. That the traitor? It is. Major General Arnold will have further orders for you. Sounds good. Welcome aboard, milady. <laughs> Ah, Connor. Just the man I wanted to see. Well done, capturing the traitor. But I must ask more of you. There are some kegs of powder resting inside the fort. Bring them to the magazine. Dismissed. Are you well? As well as I can be, given the circumstances. You? Same. But we're close. So very close. We need to talk about this someplace with fewer curious ears. Has Clinton agreed? It is done. Only the matter of my compensation remains something of the utmost importance to me. Deliver this letter. Make absolutely sure he gets it. Please be cautious. A mistake at this stage would be... unfortunate. When we come out on the other side of this thing, I'll make sure you're rewarded, Major Andre. Generously. <laughs> you mean John Anderson, sir? Yes. Sir. Sir. Make sure we're not followed. If anybody sees us, kill them.
keep a keen eye and come for me when you see the smoke. Yes, sir. We'll be waiting, Major Andre. Vault! Gentlemen, I hope you belong to our party. What party? The lower party. We do. Good. I'm an officer in the British Army and I must not be detained. I will chalk this mishap up to fatigue. But we ain't British, friend. And you are under arrest. Uh, that was merely a test, and you passed. I'm an officer of the Patriots, in truth. Here are my papers. Rubbish! Kill him and bring his head to the commander. No! Do not kill him. Search him instead. Blessed stars. His real name is Major Andre, and he's with the British. He carries this letter on behalf of Major General Benedict Arnold. Arnold is our commanding officer. Bind Andre's hands immediately and bring him to Commander Washington. I will see to Arnold.
finished already. I have some more. Explain this. Well, I don't know what this is. A letter in your hand addressed to General Clinton of the British Army confirming the surrender of West Point for the sum of 20,000 pounds. This must be some sort of plot to expose the fort. I am a patriot through and through, Connor. My actions at Saratoga speak to that, I'm sure. For your sake, I hope General Washington agrees. He will be arriving here today. Regulars! Regulars! We're under attack! The main! Stand tall, men! We're holding! Arnold betrayed us! That turncoat bastard! We secure the fort, then we deal with Arnold. I! Arnold has made it to the bolster! Made it to the vulture. We must hold the fort. Rally to the flag. To me. Arnold was behind this, but he escaped. If you did not catch him, nobody could have. West Point is secure, and Major Andre will hang for his crimes. And Arnold? We'll try to find him, though I have my doubts. Whom can we trust now? If Patriot heroes are betraying us. 
You reap what you sow. 